Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and we finally did stuff. Yes, we finally got our Anycubic Cobra uh, S1 combo to print something after our horrible nozzle leak. If you watched the previous video, you saw me talk about that, but quickly, the original heat break, not heat break, um, hot end leaked and went everywhere. I tried one on Amazon, no work. Got one off of AliExpress because I'm still waiting for any cubics to come in. I got this considerably smaller um, he, uh, hot end and nozzle. It is a 0.4 despite how small that is. But here's the thing. It has got a all metal heat break. Yes, none of that. Uh, this here with the PTF tube. So we did print this. Went well. And now we have to, we got to finish our multi-board for behind the printer back there. So let's go ahead and get this brought up. I, um, I already got it all uh, sliced up and ready to go. Um, but ba -ba, what I wanna do is let me just synchronize. Yeah, synchronize that with the Ace Pro. See, that is so funny. I have Elegoo PLA Plus. Sometimes it picks it up on here. Let me go here, hold on. Yeah, see, if I come over here, if I go to the combo on here, I get the PLA plus. Um, this on this side over here is Elegoo. That over there is the Anycubic. So I wouldn't expect that the Elegoo would be picked up. But I know it's uh, PLA white, and I have to use that because it's a different color white than the stuff that's up there. And, well, that would drive me nuts. Anywho, um, so we got that. Let me just hit synchronize again. Nope, it is calling it. Well, whatever, we're not going to be using it. All right, so let's go over here. Let's hit slice this plate. And I am using the stock. Oh, gosh, I got to cancel that. Wait for that to finish. I have a LU PLA white uh, in there that I did. So, anywho, back to what I was saying. We're going to give this a go. Um, this has been the torture test for my enders. This thing printed it great right out of the box until I had the, the hot end leak and then it was a mess from there. All right, so let's go to remote print. If you haven't seen this before, we are on the Cobra S1. We are gonna choose uh, the PLA in that. All right, I'm not gonna do any of this bed leveling, AI flow, I'm not gonna touch it, not gonna touch it. We're just gonna hit start print and we're gonna let this thing go. I'm gonna bring you back or uh, if I get, you like it? Maybe, uh, maybe some hyperlapse of it starting. All right, so. That's, uh, it was about 10 minutes wrapped up into about 20 seconds. Uh, looks like the first layer went down. That is a good sign. Um, we're going to let this thing run. It's got three hours left, three hours and 32 minutes. I don't have my glasses, but that's what it looks like. Um, fingers crossed. I got to go out to the firehouse here in a little bit. And um, I hope this is still going when I get back. I hope this is done when I get back. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it has been three hours and 33 minutes. I think it was more like four after warming up and all that stuff. But anyway, it looks like we have a successful multi-board print. Ooh, that is not really well adhered once that cooled off. But look at that, that new nozzle, there it is. Put it over here in some harsher light. That's pretty acceptable layer lines, I would say, all the way around. Looks good. Matches. Oops, sorry. Wow. Hey, we're back, baby. What is that, George Constanza? I'm back, baby. I'm back. Yeah. Like, subscribe, hit the comment button. Gosh darn, Doug's going to start doing stuff. And hopefully, we're going to start loving 3D printing. Stay tuned. Thumbs up.